we had no intention of introducing peanuts or nuts of any kind to our firstborn son until he was around a year old um, because we knew that it was a common allergy and we were concerned about having a reaction until our pediatrician told us when he was six months to go ahead and try it. And even at that point, we waited another four weeks before we gave it to him. Some of the confusion about this issue can be traced back to the year 2000, and that was when the American Academy of Pediatrics recommended that uh, children at risk for developing food allergy avoid certain foods until they were older. That then was uh, a bit misinterpreted because it was adopted to, for many infants, even those without uh, a family history of uh, an allergic condition. And it became so ingrained that we were contending with many, many families uh, avoiding foods for young uh, children until they were older. Around 2008, um, there was accumulating uh, evidence that holding off on peanut and, and other such foods until children were older was uh, perhaps increasing risk of food allergy. When we did finally give him peanut butter at seven months, uh, he broke out in hives all over his body uh, instantaneously while still eating the peanut butter, um, which was quite quite scary. So Andrea's son is a really perfect example of all the dilemmas facing parents in this scenario. Uh, her son experienced very severe eczema prior to six months of age, which automatically puts him into the highest risk category. Eczema represents broken skin, where if the food gets in touch with the skin, there's immune cells beneath the skin which are very, very amenable towards developing allergy. In contrast, if the food is eaten and goes through the gut, that's a good route of exposure and helps your immune system learn to accept peanut. And so by delaying introduction, you're bypassing the beneficial route, but you're increasing the risk of the harmful route. You don't, you know, have much time to work with because this window that we're working with is quite narrow. And so in, in her son's case, even waiting that extra month uh, until seven months of age to introduce evidently turned out to be too late. And when he did break out into hives, we were a bit but scared about it. Um, it was a frightening thing and we don't know how bad his reaction is going to be or if he is going to have anaphylaxis. Uh, so it's a bit it's a bit scary to go through that for the first time. So a panel was uh, convened, uh, it's an expert panel, uh, for coming up with early peanut introduction guidelines for the National Institutes of Health in the U.S. They wanted some Canadian representation on the expert panel. And so I was tasked with representing the Canadian Society of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. The simple message is to start peanut early for those with eczema at around six months and give it regularly. And for those without eczema, uh, consideration can be made to starting peanut early, but at the age which is most appropriate for the cultural practices and norms of the countries of concern.